Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines is the regulatory body that has the oversight power over drones, and it's their rules that you need to pay attention to if you want to fly drones in our country. The biggest no-fly zones are airports. You need to stay clear at least 10 kilometers from their area of operation which can extend beyond the actual airport property. You cannot fly higher than 400 feet, 122 meters. You may not fly your drone over populated areas. Highly populated areas are also considered no-fly zones. This includes schools and universities, malls and markets, any place with large public gatherings. You also must also avoid places with controlled or restricted airspace like government buildings. No person may use or operate a remote piloted aircraft system in a controlled or prohibited airspace unless authorized by the authority. Military bases, national parks, may sometimes require a permit from the local park supervisor. Remote piloted aircraft system in flight must be kept 30 meters away from the elderly, pregnant women, and from children. Ensure your aircraft is at least 30 meters around 98 feet, away from other people not involved in the drone operation at all times. Follow Visual Line of Sight, VSOL, rules. Do not go behind buildings, large trees and other structures like billboards that will block your view and signal to the drone. Maintain Visual Line of Sight, don't fly farther than where you can see it. You are only allowed to fly during daytime when the sky is well lit, no night flying after sunset and before sunrise. You can also only pilot your drone as long as you have a clear view of it and where it's going, within your visual line of sight. This also means no flying during bad weather because rain and fog can hide your drone. You need a license. Fly big drones that weigh more than 7 kilograms. Operate drones commercially and fly in restricted conditions such as going inside restricted airspace, conducting night flights, flying over populated areas, and going above maximum altitude. These also require special flight permits. If you want to do it as a hobby and don't have any credentials or formal drone training, then you are only allowed to use small UAVs that weigh 7 kilograms or less, around 15.4 pounds. Most consumer-level drones you can buy are under this category and won't be a problem. You need a license, specifically a RPAS controller certificate for yourself or your pilot, RPAS registration certificate for your drone, and an RPAS operator certificate for your business, from the COP if you plan to.